Hello, we're going to start by setting up a new workspace and we're going to create a process within that workspace. We're then going to plot the results using a built-in chart and create an alternate scenario to compare the results. And then finally, we will evaluate the parameter sensitivity using an input range. So let's start by setting up a new workspace. We're going to give it a name and we're going to allocate attributes from the Inca library. In this case, we're going to model the production of a composite part, so we'll include the production cost model and a prepreg material model. The next step is to add a new process to our workspace. Here we give it a name. Processes are built from separate activities, so we're going to create a new activity in our workspace, give it a name, it's going to be an output activity and we're going to include all modules from the library. If you open up the dashboard, you can see all input data that is required and some of the output results. Next we're going to set up a second activity and this time it's going to be an intermediate activity. Again we're going to include all attribute modules. So we've worked from the last activity in the process at the top of the process flow diagram and we've worked our way towards the first activity in the process. Here we're going to add this first activity and it will be an input activity with all attribute modules. So now that the process model is complete we can fill in all the required input data to solve the model. If we open up the dashboard of any activity you'll see the required input indicated with the red prompt. The results are shown with warning symbols since they cannot be solved until all the input data is complete. For the purposes of this demo, I've already completed the input data required in the other activities. So now we can scroll up to the top of the process flow, in other words, the last activity in the process, and we can fill in the remaining input data. As you fill in the required input, Inca will attempt to solve all the attributes in the process. Any attributes that can be solved will be highlighted briefly in green. The model is now ready for analysis. Let's start by building a new visualization. In this demo, we've included attribute modules that calculate the cost of production. Here we're going to build a pie chart showing the breakdown of the final part cost by cost attribute. To do this I'm going to reveal all the calculated attributes in the final activity and simply drag and drop each of the cost attributes onto the chart key. At the start of the demo we included various attribute modules from the library in Inca, you can also build your own attributes or modify those imported from the library. So you have full control to customize the model to your specific requirements. In this case, we are including attributes such as the direct and indirect personnel cost, equipment, energy, tooling, maintenance, facility, etc. But there's no reason why you can't include other attributes or group them differently to suit the goals of your analysis. Of course, once the chart measures are in place, one can format the chart with colors and annotations. And finally, we'll give the chart an appropriate name. But what happens if the input data varies depending on different manufacturing scenarios? For this example, let's set up a new scenario where we have a higher production rate to see its effect on the final part cost. In this case, higher output results in better utilization of equipment and tooling and in turn a lower production cost. We might want to also consider a more competitive sales price and check the resulting return on investment for the process. With scenarios in Inca, one can investigate the effect of any number of input attributes on any calculated attributes and very quickly get a full understanding of how the process could be optimized or the effect of different materials, equipment, or process options. Finally, we may want to investigate the sensitivity of any parameter 
to a range of input. To do this, let's set up an XY chart and plot the final part cost versus output volume. In this case, we're going to vary the output from 100 to 1000 parts per year and see what effect that has on the part cost. Update the chart and we can see the relationship between cost and volume for the selected range. That's all for now. For more support or to subscribe to Inca, feel free to get in contact with us via the website or email.